Hey there. If you are watching this video, you probably have some of those uh, small creatures as well. And uh, yeah, every evening and morning we had to <coughs> close the chicken coop and open it. And uh, yeah, sometimes it's pretty rainy outside, and uh, during winters it's also a bit uh, cold outside. And yeah, I was thinking to make my life a bit easier and uh, make uh, make the doors open by themselves at a certain time. And yeah, it's a lot, a lot easier now. <laughs> at least we got rid of this uh, responsibility if I can call it like that uh, let me check if I can make a bit more light uh, I'm going to bring the lighter honestly so um, I know doesn't look very professionally uh, I uh, have in plan to disassemble everything and put it into a small box and maybe uh, make it a, a bit more compact but I'm going to show you its main components and after that I'm going to tell you a few words about each of them. Um, first we have the battery here, uh, we have a fuse, uh, fuse box, we have here a power relay. This is a solar charge controller, um, doesn't do much honestly. I didn't knew that when I bought it, afterwards I saw a few videos. But at least it's showing like uh, when uh, it's charging from the solar panel and this and that. Anyway, um, now it's fully charged, it has like 13 volts. And uh, we have this uh, timer controller. Yeah, what else? We have, of, of course, the solar panel. It's uh, a small. 10 watts solar panel it's not huge but yeah it doesn't need much we have here um, uh, an actuator a linear actuator uh, this one i'm not sure the length but yeah it's uh, 450 millimeters uh, yeah they are coming in different uh, different dimensions but for me yeah, this is what I needed. Uh, I also have one uh, at the bum here in the dock scoop. Yeah, here there is also one. That one it's a bit smaller because yeah, this door it's opening like this, and that one it's uh, opening like linearly upside. So. Um, yeah, now I'm going to say, oh, I think the ladies want to come in, let's open the door. Yeah, it's slow, but yeah, it's working. A second option actually, uh, you, you can also use air in order to open them up, but yeah, it just makes things more complicated. My shop is pretty far away and yeah, electric, it's, it's a lot easier. Ah yeah, and uh, I'm going to show you how uh, the one for the ducks is opening up. Yeah, you see, yeah, th this is definitely smaller, I don't know how long it is but yeah the idea is that you can choose the one uh, it's more suitable for you so um, now what each of those parts uh, are doing this power relay it's a uh, yeah power supply from the battery and uh, it's also connected to this uh, timer so each time the signal comes from the timer. Uh, this relay, it's uh, switching up its polarity. So uh, those linear actuators have like a plus and a minus. So uh, whenever the polarity is switching up, they also close 
and open. The good thing about those uh, linear actuators is that they have a, a, a limit switch. So as soon as they reach their uh, close limit, they stop. So yeah, that's what this uh, power relay is doing. Uh, the solar panel controller is, again, it doesn't do much should control the power from the solar panel to the battery but this Chinese thing it doesn't do much it's only like showing the voltage and the battery and whenever yeah, it's receiving uh, yeah energy from the small solar panel and yeah of course um, time uh, the timer which yeah it you set up the time and it's sending the signal to the relay blah 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 now uh, some pro and cons about this um i will start with the cons uh during winter that small solar panel it's definitely not um, not enough like uh, i had a few mornings when i woke up and uh, the the door was closed and it was a bit of a pain in the ass because i had to bring a power supply and charge the battery and this and that and uh, I don't know it, it, I had the luck for it to happen only Mondays so yeah that's why I uh, put some electricity here and uh, in the future I have two options either I'm going to supply it with uh, with a 12 volts transformer either I'm yeah going to do that only during winters because during summers when there's enough sun outside it's it's enough. I mean, I had no problems with it during summer. It was pretty okay. Uh, now, the pros. Um, honestly, th th there is another option you can get. Uh, it's a system that you can actually buy, but it's uh, powered with uh, with a wire. It has a small engine, and that uh, small engine, yeah, it's pulling up the wire, and the door is opening up. Uh, last time I checked it was around 150 and um, I kind of spent about the same amount of money with everything like I guess 140 150 something like that together with the battery and the solar panel and everything um, the good thing about this system uh, yeah it, it has a, a solar panel so you don't really need to put electricity here but yeah then there is the downside uh, during winter when the battery is discharging. I think if I would isolate it or something like that, it could uh, hold, but yeah. And uh, the biggest pro about this system is that, for example, if you have this setup, you can actually power up multiple actuators. So for the other system, you need to buy a second one if you uh, split your coop in two yeah and if you need to have two separate doors you buy two systems but for this one you only need to buy uh, an extra actuator and depending on uh, its um, its length it's also depending the price I, I guess this one was around 30 or 35 euros so it, it was not much i mean you pay 150 plus 30 it's 180 so you spend 300 if you want to buy two systems so yeah from my point of view it's a big uh, big advantage and it's pretty strong i mean there's no wire that can broke break and this and that hey lady are you going to sleep yes you want me go you want me to go out okay i won't bother you anymore go lay eggs baby Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much all I can say about it. I, I will try to draw um, a schematics about the wiring connections because, yeah, I, right now I honestly don't remember how the heck I did them. I did it a few months ago and I also followed up a, a YouTube video. Um, I will try to put that video in the description as well. Oh, yeah. One thing I also did, <laughs> and I find found it very useful for those days when the battery is discharging, I put that uh, light switch there, so it's green when the chicken coop is opened, and um, 
it's turning red when it's closed the thing is that i can actually wait 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 yeah i can actually see it from my bedroom so i don't really need to get out in order to check it i can see it from there which is awesome it's a bit confusing when my friends are coming over they're like oh my god you mounted up a traffic light on your coupe what's the meant of that but yeah um i'm happy about it made my life easier so good luck okay so i draw up a simple and a quick schematic here i'm going to go fast forward through it keep it simple if you're looking for all the details we'll work for liberty has a video with all the details how a, a relay works and looks and um, yeah so now we have here the timer oh by the way the relay and the timer they are exactly like this i mean they have uh, electrical ports and they are numbered yeah so each one has a number on the timer it's like this one two three it's uh there's nothing and there is four and five same the relay we have the timer yeah so the timer um when you set it up it's going to turn on and off uh, a switch before between four and five yeah so for example you set it up to open at eight o'clock then this switch is going to for example be closed yeah when this switch is going to be closed it's going to send up a signal to seven and then the polarity between five and six is going to switch and uh, for example if between uh b before the timer to be set on the polarity it's this is plus and this is minus after the timer it's reaching let's say eight o'clock this is going to become plus and this minus and then the actuator it's closing up yeah so um about electrical connections we have from one uh, a direct connection to the battery but we also have here uh, an entire bridge between one five from the timer and one and four from the relay yeah so you can do uh you can put a small wire between one and four and then a longer wire from four to this uh joint here that's also connecting one and five and straight to the battery uh same with two three and eight you can do a small bridge through those bet between those and uh, those with a wire a small wire and then put a longer wire between two and this wire so two of the relay between two and minus here yeah it, it it's not so complicated i tried to make it as uh, easy as possible again if you are looking for all the details uh will work for liberty has a as a video check it as well i'm going to put uh links uh with a timer uh relay i the battery doesn't really matter but depending on the size of it uh some sizes are not very popular and uh, they can be very cheap mine was uh, seven um, mine it's a uh, 70 amps and i don't know but i it was very inexpensive i'm going to check the price uh and also the actuator here you can uh, connect multiple ones so you can put two three actuators it, yeah okay oh yeah uh i need to check up the costs um uh, just a second okay so i checked up the prices uh yeah I, I i just simply forgot to put here in the diagram the solar panel but yeah you can just straight connect it to the battery simply without that stupid control is not doing much only yeah if you really want to see um uh, yeah how much life the battery still has in but yeah it, I, I see it's useless actually um 
Okay, so we have here all the costs and it's 134 euros, so it's cheaper than I, I was expecting. Or maybe, maybe I also bought the controller and that's why I remembered some 150 or something like that. But yeah, anyway, I wish you good luck with your uh, chicken coop. Oh yeah, and one more thing, if you are doing the electrical connections, uh, don't use only duct tape, like try to... Uh, put everything in um, yeah, an electrical box and before that do the connection using those things they come in many sizes but yeah I, I just simply prefer those uh, the contact it's a lot better and if you put everything in an um, electrical box try not to go cheap with those neither they are not I mean if you go to a local local brico store you can get for three or four euros pretty good quality ones I, I i bought some from amazon and i'm actually a bit disappointed with it with 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 my purchase because the plastic is very very weak and um yeah it, it doesn't seem like it's going to isolate very well and i think i'm going to replace them but yeah just try and look on around your local stores and this and that for those kind of stuff they are better quality and the rest yeah i'm pretty sure amazon is the easiest uh, place to find them so wish you good luck bye